chance we'll do that. Okay, there's Crowley right there. Yeah, and then if you can move it, uh, the Crowley cam, and point it back to the west, because I want to see what that storm is doing out that way. I'm sure that it's going to look pretty impressive coming into Crowley with lowering skies uh, and lots of lightning, heavy rain. So just to reset things, it is 7.06. We are just at the top or just past the top of the hour, and we are tracking okay, significant so. storms working their way on into the picture uh, right now Ooh. as we speak. So I think that's going to be about west, Dan, right? Yeah, right yeah, there, right yeah. There. This is it. Yeah. So somewhere in there, just, yeah, that should be fine for us to see it coming in. Um, by the way, uh, that little notch out by Jennings right now is a little alarming, and mm -hmm. we're seeing some really strong winds to the north of that uh, between Basile and, and Jennings. Yep. And then I'm also trying to see the latest on this storm system um, towards St. Landry Parish because that thing just keeps – this one just keeps getting – better and better organized as it's crossing 49. So right now we are seeing a very intense storm crossing uh, Interstate 49, Highway 167 between Washington, Opelousas, basically in the town of Nuba. And you're talking about winds here that like are 85 at times. Uh, we're getting, you know, rotational winds that's the spinning of these winds together over 100 miles an hour. That certainly is going to do some significant damage here. And that's a newly formed tornado warning with yes. that particular yeah, thunderstorm. That's the, that's the extension of the old warning right. that we were seeing. Uh, that one goes until 8 o'clock now. So we're going to be with you through 8 o'clock to cover this storm as it works its way on off to the north and east. And then just to see correlation coefficient, it's not as strong as it was earlier. Um, but you can see that there is still some lowering around Plaisance and Washington that we're going to have to keep a very close watch on here to see if we get uh, any indications of a tornado on the ground. But right now it does not appear there is one on the ground. That still doesn't mean there isn't one. It just means that, you know, there still is that potential. So that storm working its way on off to the north. There you see Opelousas. There you see Washington. It's in the town of Nuba right now. I think it's starting to weaken because we're getting another one of those cell mergers that we were talking about earlier where these storms come up and they cut off the warm inflow of these storms and they merge and you see it kind of weaken, but then it reemerges on the other side of that merger and it kind of strengthens again. So something we're going to have to watch down the road. So for a brief second, let's go back to the Jennings storm, but I will say with that in mind, uh, we're just getting a report. The entire town of Iowa is without power. So that right. kind of speaks to How the strong strengths these of are. those winds associated with that squall line, Bow Echo, that's now just roaring from yeah. west to east along Interstate 10. And that's what we're looking at right now in Jennings. So you can see Jennings and Lake Arthur. You're probably without power right now just because of those stronger winds. Uh, Crowley and Morse, Ooh. Iota. You're wanting to be in a safe place because we are seeing some intense winds. In fact, it's so strong that the radar is having trouble differentiating these winds. You can see the uh, line of them, but then all this fuzziness out ahead of it. It's coming through Basile right now and stretching to Iowa or I Iota for the strongest of this. And we're seeing an extension of these winds down to the south that could eventually come into Crowley. But I think the worst of this wind damage is going to be in Iota, headed towards Church Point, and then Opelousas. There you can see, again, that really strong rotation to the north of Opelousas around uh, Washington that's crossing the interstate as we speak. And that's going to head up towards Palmetto and Rosa and LeBeau, areas that are very well-known to tornado threats. We've seen a bunch of those in the past. And so, uh, unfortunately, you're going to be in a, yet another one here as these storms continue to work their way off towards the north and east around 35 miles an hour. Um, so let me put a track on that for you here. It is in Washington right now. So we're talking about uh, Waxia around 724, Palmetto at 732, Bayou Current at 746, Bachelor around 8 o'clock, and that's how the storm is moving off towards the north and east, and then we have more of these stronger storms right behind it, and Iota is about to get absolutely pummeled by strong winds here. Let me take you back to that 
as I mentioned, you know, these winds are so strong, they're messing with radar, but we're getting what's called a rear inflow jet, which basically is strong winds that are descending behind these storms, and they're punching their way out and forming this little notch look right here coming towards Iota, and that's going to be uh, bringing some very strong winds. We just got a new tornado warning. Um, let me see where that's for here. Uh, St. Landry and Lafayette Parish. Okay, so what's going on down here? Because that is, uh, they are, that's associated with that surge. Okay, so they're, they're doing a whole big... Literally just dropped it. Yeah, it, so let me go back to our watches and warnings map here. Yeah, I see now, okay. So I'm going to take off um, radar and lightning so that we can kind of see this here. And there's so much going on on this map. I know it's a little difficult to see everything, and there's so many colors. Uh, the yellow that you see in the background, that is a tornado watch. That goes until 9 o'clock this morning. We have a severe thunderstorm warning shaded in orange, uh, but there's a purple outline to it, which means it's considerable tagged severe thunderstorm warning. That means that we could see winds 80 possibly even up towards 100 miles an hour with this line that's moving through. We have a multitude of tornado warnings now. Uh, it looks like the latest tornado warning they've just gone ahead and issued for that whole line segment uh, because it's going to be so hard to really determine where there may be a small uh, wrap-up tornado anywhere um, in, in that line. So... We yeah, are, this one includes Lafayette Parish, yeah, northern, it, uh, southern Evangeline very, Parish. Very small part of Lafayette Parish. We're talking right. like Kington, Karen Crow area, if that. And then mainly this is for Acadia, Evangeline, St. Landry along the 190 corridor. So that would be Basile over towards Eunice. We're talking Lawtel, Opelousas. Again, you're already under a tornado warning to that one. The danger from that is starting to leave your area. Washington's included in this. Ville Platte. Uh, we're also talking about Sunset, Grand Coteau, Branch, Church Point, Crowley, uh, just to your north, in fact. Um, By the way, Iota. these storms are moving to the east at 70 miles 70 per 70 miles an hour. That, that in and of you itself is going to do some damage. So let's go back. Uh, I want to show you the tornado-worn storm here near Washington, which still has a very well-defined circulation. You can see those bright colors indicating... Uh, that rotational aspect, green's going towards the radar site in Fort Johnson, red's going away from the radar site there in Fort Johnson, and sitting right in the middle is where we're seeing that rotation. It's now east of Washington crossing LA-103. This is going to head up towards Palmetto and Rosa and Lebeau. So if you're in those areas, again, you've had quite an experience with tornadoes in the past. We had a couple of EF-3s up that way. Uh, we could have some very damaging winds with that. Back towards the west, we're starting to get these little kinks in the line, and these are going to be the areas that we watch for quick spin-up tornadoes. There's one now to the west of Iota that you can see me drawing here. Um, that's one area that I'm going to be watching. Let's see if I can get the... Okay, it's not going to work with me there. Um, there's also another one coming up towards Eunice, right in this area too that we're going to be watching for uh, that potential rotation. Uh, but beyond that, the biggest concern from this line is going to be the damaging wind threat. We are looking at winds that are going to be approaching 80, 90, possibly even 100 miles an hour. So uh, you can see they're coming into IOTA right now, 91 mile an hour wind gust. So very wow. impressive uh, rotation that we are going to uh, be watching, or very impressive wind gusts that we are watching right now uh, coming into the area. So this is going to, again, impact some populated areas. Eunice, you are about five minutes away from the worst of this weather coming into town. Um, and we are also seeing up towards Opelousas the potential for a tornado just to your north and east as that storm continues to push out into St. Landry Parish. And the reason that our um, colors are switching so much. We're going between two separate radars here, Fort Polk or Fort Johnson, and also uh, Lake Charles radar site. So very intense line of storms working their way on through the area right now, Dan. Yeah, and we're getting reports of significant power outages associated with this line of thunderstorms across portions of uh, Jeff Davis Parish, Cameron Parish, Calcasieu Parish, 
uh, as well as Beauregard and Allen parishes as well. So, uh, again, in the wake of this squall line, power outages are extremely high. We're talking about 30 to 60 percent of parishes two hour west that are mm -hmm. without power, and that uh, includes uh, uh, Cameron Parish probably hit hardest more than anywhere else. Yeah, so and I'm sure that we're going to start seeing that really uptick in our area we, now that that line is starting to move on in. I absolutely agree with you. Um, also noticing a little bit of a notch uh, out by uh, just to the west of Gay Daunt. We're seeing the power lights flicker yeah, here. Yeah, I was just saying that we're, we're starting to get some flickering here at the station. So it wouldn't surprise me if you're at home and you're seeing your power flickering on and off. Um, all these lines that extend out to Crowley, they're connected. And we saw that uh, back in 2020 uh, with Hurricane Delta. Delta took out the main transmission line across 167 and knocked out power there for, uh, for Crowley and points westward for quite some time, um, about a week, week and a half in some areas. So uh, we're going to watch this completely, uh, completely roll through. And, Dan, I think yeah, you have control Yeah, there's the outage map right that. there. So uh, this is uh, 44,000 customers, more than 44,000 customers throughout the state of Louisiana that are without power. But you can see the darker reds indicate a higher percentage so that's why we're more concerned about what we're seeing down to the southwest, Cameron Parish specifically. We're just getting reports of those power outages out in Jeff Davis Parish. Right now, roughly 10% of the parish out well, without power. But those numbers are likely going to increase as this significant squall line of thunderstorms uh, pushes off to the east. And again, it's now just moving into uh, Acadia Parish as well as... Uh, up to the north towards uh, Evangeline okay. and Vermilion parishes as well down to the south. Yeah, we're seeing that kind of spreading all across the area because uh, that line is starting to move on in. I do want to update you on the St. Landry Parish storm that has that tornado warning that goes until 8 o'clock. We're seeing those strong winds that are coming into Palmetto as we speak here. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're definitely taking power hits here at the station from a storm that's just popped up. Um, in the Lafayette area. So if you're in Lafayette, you may be experiencing those power outages or even some power flickering on and off there. Palmetto, get ready because this is right on your doorstep with the worst of this weather and that rotation Ooh. to the potential for some severe weather um, moving on into the region, uh, that tornado potential there as we go through the next few hours. So specifically, uh, outages from Slemco, 2,300 uh, outages in Acadia Parish, 577 in St. Landry Evangeline at 410. We just got a new severe thunderstorm warning for St. Landry and Evangeline Parishes. Let's see where that is. So they've just extend, expanded, expanded the considerable uh, tagged warning. So we basically expanded that northward and to the south. Pretty much all of Acadiana going to see winds that range from 70 to 100 miles an hour out there. Um, I'm talking to Al Bear, who is at Vermilion, um, Vermilionville this morning. He's saying it's looking extremely dark out to the west. And uh, if we can do the box thing again that we yeah. had a little Take while ago. Take a look ago. at this. This is, uh, this is the Crowley Tower camera. If we can pull up... Uh Max 1 and Max 2 simultaneously, yep. side-by-side so, side boxes. And you can see that box there in the bottom part of your uh, screen. That is the Crowley Tower camera. Um, so we're, we're kind of doing all this stuff on the fly, so definitely bear with us here, folks. We're going to be, you know, you may see some boxes build on your screen and do some crazy things, but uh, we're trying to get you as much information as we can with uh, – lot of things going on right now. I mean, we're getting warnings every few seconds. Have we gotten any more reports of damage or anything from the National Weather Service? Not yet. Things, uh, it, well, thunderstorm war damage out by Lake Charles. Uh, also seeing some stuff out by uh, Tyler, Texas, as well as, uh, you know, again, Lake Charles. Lost power in Silsby. Um, yeah, and I just want, I'll tell you what, man. This look is, at look at Crowley right now. Yeah, I got the picture cameras. pulled up. 
um, in Crowley here, and I just want to show you, okay, so here's the line coming through, right? And we're getting this Boeing segment on the northern side where the rear inflow jet's coming in, and we're kind of getting this, what we call a dog leg feature. We could see some rotation, but you look at the picture here off on the side of your screen, and there is definitely some lowering that we are seeing coming into the uh, Crowley area. We're going to watch these because what happens with these Boeing segments is that you see uh, this line come in, but these quick spin-up tornadoes along the line, by the time radar picks them up, they're already gone. And this one that's right on the right-hand side of your screen, and then the one that's in the middle, that one really is interesting me too. So, um, hey, Dan, actually go to that one in the middle. Uh, look how it's kind of extending down. You see that? This one to the right? or To the, to the left. To the, the left. left. Yeah, yeah, for a second. No, uh, other way, sorry. Yeah, that one was extending down uh, a little bit there uh, just a second ago. So I want to monitor these because I do think we are going to really start to see this line blow in, possibly with some of these spin-up tornado potentials uh, into Crowley. So the worst of the winds are coming into town right as we are speaking here in Crowley. If you are in Crowley and you can hear me, you need to get away from outdoor windows, away oh. from uh, that... Wow, that is a big lightning strike. Away from outside walls, interior room of your home, that is where we are going to see uh, the best potential for you to avoid seeing any flying debris, anything like that coming into town. We're going to watch here because on our tower camera, what's likely to happen is we're, when we see this system come into town, and let's just hold it right there uh, uh, on that yeah, section because I want to see right. if we get some um, power flashes, Dan. So uh, let's go back. Yeah, right there. Let's keep it on that one. And let's just watch as this comes into Crowley if we get any power flashes. Now, what that is is the electrical lines. They have these little features on top that the electric companies put on them that – uh, when the winds get too strong, it kind of like pops them off and it creates this big explosion, but it protects the actual transformer, but it creates this big explosion of light that looks like lightning, but it emanates from the ground rather than in the cloud. So as this line comes in, I do expect that we are going to see power going out. If nothing else, we should get some power flashes here in the Crowley area as these winds, again, we're looking at winds that are going to be 70, 80, 90 miles an hour here um, going into the next few minutes. Uh, so if you are in Crowley, now is the time to get to that safe place, get away from windows, away from outside walls. I want you to treat this as though there's a tornado on the ground because these winds are going to be as strong of a tornado potential as what we are seeing with a tornado. We have that line that extends down through Morse. It extends now past Gaydon. I know that there's so many of you probably out there that are tuning in. You're like, wait, you haven't mentioned my town. Well, we're trying to get as much information in because we've had so many tornadoes, so many um, wind reports, and all of this coming in all at once here. So this line now extends from Church Point down through Crowley into Morse. That's the greatest potential of damaging winds, and especially here if you're north of Crowley coming into Branch. Uh, we're talking Swords, uh, Church Point. This is where we have the greatest potential of the strongest winds, around 90 to 100 miles an hour. Also, we could see a spin-up tornado here because of that little kink in the line. It's going to be too quick for radar to capture, so we're likely not going to see any indication of that, but it is going to uh, bring some very strong winds. In fact, in Church Point right now, we are seeing that line entering in uh, to the area. So we have yeah, Church Point that's getting some very strong winds. We have Crowley that's getting some very strong winds. Of course, we have our cameras that are all across watching this, our four cameras in Lafayette, New Iberia, Church Point, and Crowley. And so we are going to continue to monitor these strong winds working their way on in from the west here, bringing with them that uh, damaging wind potential to the area. So We let's just lost our, uh, ca our Church Point camera feed, by the way. We lost or at least I can't yeah. see it on my end. No, I think I think with the winds coming in there, it probably got knocked out, um, which wouldn't surprise me in the least. Let's see. the We now have a flash flood warning to tell you about. That is for Jeff Davis Parish and St. Landry Parishes. So let me go back to our warnings here. I'm going to have to turn some things off. So 
Uh, bear with me here. Severe thunderstorm. There it is. And let's see what they say about this uh, flash flood warning. Doppler radar indicated two to four inches of rain have fallen. Additional one to four inches are possible. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. So uh, that's another threat we have to contend with here as we get through the next few hours. The flash flood warning or flash flooding threat is going to stick around. So some very impressive scenes coming out of our tower cameras. Update for you in Palmetto with that tornado warn storm in St. Landry Parish, which goes until 8. The strongest of the winds are hitting you right now. We're looking at 80 mile an hour winds with that. You can see on the left hand side of your screen that is our Crawley tower camera and that's what it currently looks like in Crawley. We're not seeing uh, power going out which is a good thing but still very well could. I mean we're just starting to get into the worst of the weather. In fact I can zoom in and show you that our tower camera hasn't even gotten into the worst of the winds. Those have just been to the north around the I-10 corridor uh, with the latest scan, they're just getting there. So let's see what happens with our Crowley Tower camera. If you start to see some bright flashes in the sky, more than likely, those are actually uh, power flashes rather than lightning. So that is going to be um, something that we keep a very close watch on. But it's not just Crowley. The strongest winds are actually now north of rain. And I can show you that here. Looks like there's a little bit of a notch out by Church Point as well. Yeah. Uh, 96 mile an hour wind up. gusts there by rain. Um, yeah, see if it shows up there. I have a feeling it's not going to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're yeah. That's done. The the tower camera is done. As of 7:26, so that was just within the last 90 seconds. It failed on it. Yeah. So um, I'm not sure. You know, I'm assuming that winds probably took out the internet connection there. Um, that's Lafayette. And so we'll show you all four camera spots. Of course, Church Point is now gone. Look at uh, Crowley just getting absolutely blasted by those winds. Um, and I'm going to pull them back up here because I am recording on this just to, you know, keep it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So um, that's what it looks like in Crowley right now. And we are getting some significant wind and rain out of this. And yeah, just look at the trees in the foreground. You yeah, can see how I mean, you can really see the moving. sheets of rain coming through currently in Crawley. And again, that's the four cameras we have Church Point, Lafayette, New Iberia, and uh, Crawley. Church Point is out, that is why it is gray, it is fuzzy. And so, um, you can see that we have those very strong, damaging winds here in Crawley uh, currently that are going to continue to. Work their way on off to the east, bringing some damaging wind potential to the rest of Acadiana. But that's what you can expect if you're in Lafayette. In the next 30 minutes, we're going to see that working its way on off to the east. And in fact, let me do that because uh, we're starting to get some indications of where the strongest winds will be going. So we have the Boeing segment right... Oops, wrong tool. Let me try that. This other one that we have. Um, we have this Boeing segment... That's up here into northern Evangeline St. Landry Parishes. All this moving uh, a pretty good clip around, I'll put it 50 miles an hour just to give it an average. But we're looking at 736 for Opelousas for this line. Not the storm that's already passed through, but this line uh, that is going to end that severe threat. 742 for Lafayette. I think that line's moving at 70 miles per hour. I think that well, that's what the warning was associated with. Well, yeah, with. but there's parts of the line that are moving faster. There's parts of the line that are moving slower. I'm just doing like a average total in case, because you'll get the little bow out. Sure. you get the little, you know, things here and there. Um, but generally, this is when you can expect that timing of those storms. Uh, 8 o'clock for St. Martinville, 8.08 for New Iberia, 8.27 for New Road. So very impressive uh, speed Ooh. associated with this line. And I think the strongest winds are going to be up here right along the 190 corridor, uh, probably why we lost our Church Point Tower camera. Opelousas is about to get hit with those strongest winds. We're also seeing around the Dusant area, back towards rain, the worst of this is getting into town right now, and a whole slew of little tiny storms out ahead of this line that are coming into places like Lafayette, Maurice, and Karen Crow. So uh, this is going to be a line that continues to work its way on off to the east with the potential for tornadoes within it. 
uh, the greatest potential is to the north. And in fact, the National Weather Service has uh, warned this whole northern line, the northern part of the line, for a tornado warning because there are going to be these little spin-up tornadoes that we can't really predict or see, and they are going to work their way on through with that line but cause just as much damage, if not more. So, just to reset things, it is now 7.30. If you're just tuning in to uh, what would be Good Day Acadiana, we are tracking a very strong line of storms working its way on into the picture here across Acadiana. And uh, this has multiple tornado warnings with it. It also has multiple severe thunderstorm warnings, including a considerable tag. We also have a flash flood warning in place for portions of the area. That is for Evangeline, St. Landry, Acadia, and Jeff Davis parishes. And all of this is going to continue to work its way on off pretty quickly to the east. So if you haven't gotten this line yet, be prepared. You're going to be getting it soon. Real quick, we have an update with some of the power outages across the region. Jeff Davis Parish, a little over 1,600 customers are without power. Without power, Acadia Parish, a little over 3,100 customers without power. And in St. Landry Parish, uh, about 1,100 customers are without power. Those numbers are likely to rise significantly over the coming hours. Um, also, uh, do want to bring your attention. There's also that notch down mm -hmm. that's moving down into the coast. I was Vermillion just looking at Parish. that. So we may have another tornado warning uh, that comes out for the Pecan Island area up towards uh, Cow Island, LA 82, that runs through there. So we're going to keep a close watch on that here. But certainly some very destructive storms coming through. It does look like an improved picture from our Crawley Tower camera. I know that's saying a whole lot, but I'm going to move this um, out. Look out to the east. Yeah, so we can, so we can see what's uh, going on with that. Although, because we are going to be uh, watching for those storms to continue to work their way on off to the east. So Dan's going to swing that camera around there. One of the great tools we have here at News 15, our four tower cameras in Lafayette, New Iberia, Church Point, and Crawley. We have lost our Church Point tower camera, uh, probably due to strong winds knocking out internet connections whoa. up that way. Um, By the way, um, this is uh, this is outside of our area, but we heard reports of a tornado out in Port Arthur. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, it looks like a convenience store on the corner of uh, Memorial Drive and Proctor in Port Arthur has been damaged significantly due to a tornado out there. So that kind of speaks volumes to these storms as they move through southwest Louisiana into Acadiana right now. Yeah, we, we were following that earlier when those uh, first reports came out, so that just confirms that we have some significant storms working their way on through. Okay, uh, I'm going to switch it up to our uh, Hub City Tower Cam because those storms are quickly moving into the Lafayette vicinity. Yes, they are um, moving in as we speak. So you're going to see as Crawley begins to improve there with the view, um, Lafayette should be here. I got you, Dan. Um, Lafayette should be uh, showing some darker skies out there. And so Dan's going to switch the cameras and start moving that around to the west. Uh, right now it's pointed towards downtown, which it looks a little rainy, a little stormy, but uh, things are going to be a completely different picture once it does go towards the uh, western part of the area where we do see those stronger storms in place working their way on into the picture right now. So again, this is the scene that we have out there. If you can, um, in, you're in the Lafayette region, uh, back towards Scott, Dusson, turn us up, you know, get into an interior room because this storm is basically, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, you could treat it as a tornado. You know, we are looking at some very intense winds, 70 to 80 mile an hour winds that are going to be coming into town. And again, this is a view from our Hub City Tower camera. It's looking across, out towards Scott, basically. Yeah, towards Scott, across the skyline there with some darkening skies. And we should see this thing roll right on in, possibly with some uh, power flashes. We have a new tornado warning now for St. Landry, St. Martin parishes. So let me go to here. and there, <laughs> That's an extension of that line. That's yeah, and I mean, I don't think I've ever really seen a whole parish just kind of covered in a tornado warning, but that's it right there. Let me take the lightning off for you. Um, actually, let me just click that. And there you can see that new tornado warning that is an extension of the one from earlier. Uh, and it goes until 
8 a.m. So uh, is that the new one? Here we go. I got it. It's yeah, 8 uh, at 7.34 a.m. Severe thunderstorms capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight line wind damage. We're located along a line extending from Indian Lake to Washington mm -hmm. to Leonville, moving to the east at 90 miles per hour. That very, is an very incredible impressive. Yeah. Piece. That's not the winds associated with it. That's how quickly these storms are barreling through Acadiana right now. Yep. And that's the thing um, that you uh, have to also remember is that this is just this part of the line. So okay. it may be slightly um, slower in other parts, but still this line is moving through at incredible speeds. Okay, we're getting a report of a possible tornado around Barrab Road. Uh, Vetro Road, Diamond Lane, Heavy Debris, and St. Landry Parish. I don't know specifically what, what town that is. My pronunciations uh, might be way off here. B-Rab, Botro, and Diamond, and Diamond Lane. Lane. Let me see. I'm going to look that up here because I'm not too familiar. But um, that would not surprise me with what we were seeing earlier. I'm going to take a gander and say that... Um, Could be out towards Washington. Yeah, up that way. What was the first um, street name? Uh, B-Rab. B-Rab. Barab? Barab, B -Rab. something like that. <laughs> it might be up towards Sunset. Uh, yeah, that would be about where that yes, rotation came it is, across. yes. Okay, so this is uh, off of Highway 343, 356. Around the Church Point area. Yeah, just to the east of Church, uh, about halfway between Church Point and Sunset Grand Coteau. Yeah, so that makes a lot of sense with those uh, strong winds and what looked to be, remember how I said, uh, you know, it kind of looked like there was that correlation coefficient that was um, indicating that we were seeing some very intense uh, Yeah, the potential for debris, debris being up there. up. So I think we probably had a tornado... Uh, roll through there. Now you take a look at the Hub City Tower camera and you're starting to get the first indications of a uh, shelf cloud that are roll that's rolling its way through the area right now Whoa. into Lafayette. So um, I want to uh, update y'all on uh, some of the outages that we have. 5,500 outages. That's 30% of customers from Slemco in Acadia Parish. St. Landry 2892, so almost 2,900 outages in St. Landry Parish. Evangeline has 423. St. Martin is 15. Lafayette, 14. Avoyle, 6. And Vermilion, 4. And again, that is the Slemco outages. That's not for all the other ones that we have. Um, and so you can see that our Hub City Tower camera is starting to really uh, get darker out there. And... Um, really become a very strong linear feature as we are getting that storm system to work its way on into the picture here. So uh, just going to continue to update on some of these power outages. We have Jeff Davis, which has 15% of its customers out. Uh, 1,900 are being reported out right now. Uh, that's probably the biggest one that we have so far in our area, but there's probably going to be more in St. Landry, total of 974, but I'm sure that's going to be coming up. Same deal in Evangeline, 434 people are out of power, according to poweroutages.us. So lots going on right now um, in the weather world. Again, you're looking at that line coming into Washington and Opelousas where we've already had damage being done by earlier storms. Let me get you down to Lafayette where the line is just approaching. We're actually getting rain ahead of that line, which is obscuring the shelf cloud that is associated with it. Uh, and we're going to continue to monitor that picture because we could see power outages coming in from the Scott area as we head through the next few minutes here with that line of strong wind. So uh, you can see here in Opelousas, I just want to give you what radar is indicating for the wind gust currently, 86 miles an hour with that wind gust. And then I'm going to go down into the Lafayette area uh, around sunset, uh, just to your south and Karen Crow, we have some very intense winds that are coming into town. 95 is what our radar is indicating for those wind gusts right now. 
Here in Lafayette, back toward Scott, the worst of this line is still back to the west with the gustiest winds just getting into Dusan. And out that way, probably a little lower, closer to 70, uh, 75 miles an hour. That still will do a lot of damage, though. Um, so we're just going to continue to monitor that here uh, as that line comes into town. And again, just to give you a sense of where this line is and how strong it is, uh, we are seeing that heavy, heavy rain. If you're in Lafayette, the rain sounds like it's pouring, like this is the worst that's going to come. No, this is before that line actually gets here. And you can see on our Hub City Tower camera, it's a little difficult, but there's Arizona. a dark area just like I would say in the middle part of the screen and then a lighter area. That is the shelf cloud, that darker area that's working its way into Lafayette. And that is going to bring in those very, very strong winds here. Possibly we'll see and capture some power flashes as it comes through the area. Um, and so that is going to bring us uh, those gusty winds, which are ranging between 75 to 100 miles an hour at times. So this is what we have going for you. Again, it's 740, uh, 741 in fact. And just to set the stage, a powerful line of storms moving its way on through Acadiana as we speak. The worst of it is lined up right along I-49 down into Lafayette, and then it stretches back through uh, Vermilion and Acadia Parishes and Western Lafayette Parish. All of this headed to the east at a pretty good clip, and we are seeing a lot of warnings with this. So let me just get you where we have all those warnings. We have uh, a widespread severe thunderstorm warning with a considerable tag. Those are rarely ever issued unless there is the potential for that strong damaging wind of 80 miles an hour or higher, and that is what we're seeing. Also, I want to point out that what you are looking at on the left-hand side of your screen is our Hub City Tower camera. That is what we are seeing currently live from News 15. We are going to try and capture some of these power outages and um, give you the latest on where the strongest winds are currently as it moves through town. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning out for Vermilion Parish, and that is going to go until 8 a.m. Uh, for those strong winds that will continue. Now, that one does not appear to be considerable in nature, but it um, does indicate that there will still be that potential for 60-mile-an-hour winds or greater, uh, and it's moving northeast at 50. So, here is a look at radar, and let me zoom out here and show you what we're tracking. We had that earlier tornado-warned storm that came through St. Landry Parish. We're starting to get reports of damage in the Opelousas area, um, also to the south around Church Point. And uh, the rain is definitely coming down here pretty heavy as uh, we are going to... Um, continue to get these storms forming out ahead of this line. Again, if you're just joining us, the Hub City Tower camera is on the left-hand side of your screen. That is what it looks like right now from our News 15 studios outside. And so as this line continues to come on through, we are going to watch for power outages. We're going to watch for debris to fly off um, across the roadways. You should not be out in this. This is why schools were canceled through the day today because of this line that is coming through. On top of this, we have the potential for flooding. These storms are dumping rain at a rate of two to four inches an hour. That will cause significant street flooding. Of course, here in Lafayette, we are very prone to flooding, so be aware of that. There are plenty of people out on the roadways right now. I would not recommend that. If you can stay home, please do, and just take it easy, turn us up, and, you know, get to a safe spot because you want to treat this as though there is a tornado that is headed your way. These storms could spin up a tornado at any point in time. In fact, we have a tornado warning for Evangeline, St. Landry, Acadia, Northern Lafayette, Northern St. Martin Parishes until 8 a.m. just because we won't be able to tell you when a tornado spins up based on radar it's going to be too fast and happen in between radar scans, and so that's not going to really uh, be a benefit for us in that sense. It's just incredible to see the rain fall this quickly uh, uh, on our Hub City Tower Cam. I mean, it's literally like sheets that are falling. You know, if you look in the foreground, you could see uh, just how, you know, not only the rain that's falling, but also how the winds are really whipping it around. 
especially on some of the parking lots right in the foreground towards the bottom of your screen. And it's just incredible. The thing is, too, that we have to keep in mind, we're not even in the worst of the winds yet. Those are still about five minutes away here from Lafayette. So uh, this is just the beginning of this line, and then those winds are going to last for about 10, 15 minutes as it continually pushes through the area. So uh, definitely be aware there's going to be that potential for uh, strong winds, damaging winds, spin-up tornadoes, flooding, all sorts of uh, severe weather aspects with this. We had earlier reports of hail from a supercell that formed up uh, in southern Lafayette Parish. Um, just to update you again on outages, Slemco getting Acadia 5,800 now, 39% of their customers without power. St. Landry is up to 8,100. Evangeline, 807. St. Martin, 15. Um, north, uh, La the north of Lafayette Parish is up to 1,257 customers without power. So we are going to see that power potential or power outage potential really increasing here as the worst of this weather comes into Acadiana. And so uh, right now we are just looking at those storms rolling their way on through. And again, we have that considerable tag for a severe thunderstorm warning, which means that winds will likely be 80 to 100 miles an hour in gust as this line works its way on off to the east. Uh, we are having reports around the Opelousas area of tornado damage. Uh, that is from one of the EMAs up there. We are also looking at widespread power outages. The flood potential has increased as this line is producing two to four inches of rain per hour. So there's a lot of things going on with this severe threat here today. And you can see that uh, as this line works its way on off to the east, it's moving fast, but that doesn't mean it's not packing a punch. Uh, let's take a tour of where the strongest winds are right now. We are in St. Landry Parish and in association with the beginning part of this line up towards Palmetto and Rosa, you've already had one round of some very significant winds. The next round is coming through as we speak, and that is bringing 70 to 80 to even 90 mile an hour winds. And I'll show you where I'm talking about. Just south of Palmetto, Rosa, uh, look at these wind speeds that were being picked up by radar. 78, 89, 88, very intense winds that we have out there. We'll move down to the south, and we're going to switch over to the Lafayette radar. And you can see that there's widespread winds here in that orangey peach color, 83 miles an hour south of Arnoville. Coming into Karen Crow right now, 86 mile an hour wind gusts. And usually we would say, oh, well, this is kind of elevated, but we are getting confirmation of damage from these winds, so we're going to take this as truth value. Uh, to the west of Lafayette, that line is just coming into Scott, and just to your north, we're looking at an 82-mile-an-hour wind gust, 66 down around Ridge. We're looking at 82 back uh, south of Rain. So we are going to see that coming into around Maurice. And all of this, again, headed into Lafayette and headed towards Broussard and Youngsville, where you've already had some really rough weather earlier this morning. A lot of hail fell there, one inch in diameter. That triggered our first severe thunderstorm warning of the day. Just to show you this line, here it is. And it's moving at about, we'll say, 50 miles an hour. So I'm going to have to zoom out here on our um, tracker and try and extend this because it goes off the map there. Oh, that's not working. Yeah, let me let me do this. I'm just going to redraw it here. You know, also we're seeing a significant uptick in the number of traffic uh, accidents throughout the region, whether it's uh, vehicle accidents or stalled vehicles um, throughout the region. That's from Lafayette 911 and then also from Louisiana 511. Uh, it looks like Interstate 10 is just, uh, it's not significant delays, but people are definitely driving a lot slower due to the uh, active weather on the highways mm -hmm. across the region. So, you know, it's not, a, you know, obviously nobody wants to be out on the roads when they're dealing with this, but for those that have to be, I mean, just anticipate really nasty driving conditions. By the way, take a look at the Hub City Tower Cam. Oh, we've gone black and white because, yeah. oh, now we're going back. I mean, it is really... Uh, yeah, so what happens is when our camera can't differentiate the colors, it goes to night vision. And so that was that black and white that you saw there that came on briefly. And we'll likely see that happen again. Uh, just briefly to mention, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning until 845 for Vermilion, Iberia, 
and uh, Lafayette Parishes, also St. Mary Parish, uh, and Lower St. Martin. That is for 60 mile an hour wind gust with this line that will be coming through. So currently we have the strongest of those winds getting into Lafayette as we speak. We should see our tower camera here really go kind of crazy in just a second as those winds come in from Scott. And we may even lose it like what happened to Church Point uh, a little while ago. We yeah, still this thing's really have... shaking. I just messed with the focus to try to get it better. But I mean... Yeah, you're it, not going to be able to do anything. The visibilities here are incredibly low. We can't even see the Cajun Dome, which is something that we normally see perfectly from our vantage point here. Right. Uh, it's difficult. For, furthermore, uh, how far how far is uh, Bertrain from here? Roughly... I don't know, maybe a quarter a, of a mile. Yeah, yeah, half a mile at most. Half a mile at most. We can't even see, uh, you know, the intersection of E. Rice Landry and uh, Bertrand from our tower cam right now. Yeah, and we just got a... Uh, updated severe thunderstorm warning. Right, they've knocked the winds down to about 60 mile an hour wind gusts, but I still wouldn't be surprised if we had um, some more... Uh, this storm is still moving to the east at 75 miles per hour. Which is just absolutely crazy. So it's now into Lafayette. It's lined up right along Johnston Street. There's also, uh, it also has a uh, possible tornado tag associated with it. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's just because how are we going to be able to, you know, uh, tell you where there's a tornado in something like this? I mean, we go down here and, you know, there's going to, all of this is already destructive winds. And on top of that, you have a tornado. So you need to treat this as though there is a tornado on the ground and you need to get into that interior room of your house away from outside walls and windows, preferably under a stairwell if you have that, a bathroom, and just hunker down. Remember, you can download that News 15 weather app and live stream us. Uh, we will be on covering these storms as they move through the area. We're already seeing significant damage and power outages. Just Speaking of which, we're seeing an uptick in power outages. Yeah, I was just about to give uh, the uh, update here that we got from Slemco. Yeah, if we can pull up that map uh, from our iPad right here, you might be able to see, uh, especially across St. Landry Parish, Acadia Parish, Evangeline Parish, and now St. Martin Parish, not too much of a deterioration in power outages in Lafayette Parish. But again, we're talking about nearly 25% of the parish of St. Landry Parish is uh, without power. Nearly yeah, so, 24%. Uh, Slemco is reporting 6,800 customers in Acadia Parish. That's 40% of their customers without power. St. Landry is up to 9,000 people without yeah, power. St. Martin Parish, uh, nearly 6,000 customers without power. That's roughly a quarter of uh, that parish without power. And then as far as uh, Acadia Parish goes, a little over 10% of the parishes without power, that's uh, roughly 1,500 customers. So again, uh, our camera, again, has switched black and white. It looks like something out of an uh, Alfred Hitchcock movie right now. It just looks incredibly ominous. So uh, again, these storms continue to slide off to the east very quickly you just can't outrun these storms so just take cover and wait for these storms to pass on through um we're getting a report oh this is out in grand lake and cameron yeah there was a tornado that was uh reported and this was over an hour ago out in grand lake and cameron power so again we continue to just really hunker down and watch these storms as they slide off to the east yeah, and they're going to be pretty strong here, continuing for the next hour or so, as we are going to see those uh, really strong uh, winds continuing to push their way on through the area. We're looking at 70 to 80 mile an hour winds that are going to uh, be blowing on through as we head into the next 10 minutes here in Lafayette. So you're just starting to get in. This is our Hub City Tower camera. It has gone to night mode. We're going to try and get it back into day mode. Um, I'm going to drop it down to the ground. See yeah, it see, so you're going to see it move around a lot, but this is what uh, we are going to have to deal with, unfortunately, as we are looking at. Uh, that's what it looks like looking straight down from our tower. You can see the tower there and those winds just ripping here across Lafayette. Uh, I mean, look at the trees. <laughs> that. Yeah. So uh, and I'm surprised you I'm know, not that they're not moving much. a little bit more, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
but uh, we are seeing some very strong winds. I mean, look at that picture there. You can see the rain just kind of wrapping around our camera here. Again, we're looking at wind gusts 60, 70, 80 miles an hour coming into Lafayette currently. And again, uh, we do have some tornado warnings that are still out across the area. We're seeing those uh, tornado warnings mainly just for the St. Landry Parish, Evangeline Parish area, and it's a widespread warning because we're not going to be able to tell you exactly where that uh, rotation is. And so that is something that is going to have to be, um, you know, followed very closely as these storms work their way on through. And so I would just treat this line as though there is a tornado with it, hunker down, get into a lower area, a uh, sheltered area, and um, Chief Meteorologist Dan Romano was just pointing out to me that there is a little bit of some rotation uh, closer to Lafayette here along the leading edge of one of these lines, although it's really it tough to see. It just weakened a bit. Literally on the yeah. last one, it was out by Bro Bridge. Yeah, Henderson I think you can kind Park. of see in this area here, uh, there's a little bit, and it's... It's just going to be really difficult to tell you where we're getting, you know, stronger rotational signatures versus where it's just going to be a straight line wind damage threat. But this line definitely means business. And we're getting a lot of that heavy rain, two to four inches of rain per hour, which is going to cause some flood concerns. We're also going to see um, the potential for those strong winds, you know. We're looking at 70, 80 miles an hour with this wind that's coming on through in parts of St. Landry Parish right now. And I'll plot some of that on there for you. There you go, 78 miles an hour, 83 miles an hour. Uh, near Arnoville, we're looking at 65, so a little bit less there, but that's still damaging wind potential. We'll go down into the Lafayette area, and now the strongest winds are coming into town. So let's see what that looks like here. 85 miles an hour on the north side of Lafayette, 87 out towards Ridge. We're looking at 92 mile an hour wind gusts between Maurice and Abbeville. And then coming into the western side of Abbeville, 82. So significant strong winds that could cause, you know, damage to trees, damage to signs. Uh, we've had reports of uh, a house being blown off of its uh brick foundation, or not brick foundations, but you know how they're elevated houses, the, the foundations there. So these are some very strong winds that are coming through the area right now. And again, you're taking a look at our Hub City Tower camera here at News 15. It's pointed towards downtown. What you're looking at there is the corner of Easy Street and Eras Landry. And Eras Landry then bends around and heads off towards Bertrand. Um, very, very windy wet time we've seen lots of lightning uh you can also see that there's a few cars on the road and i would not recommend you going out in this weather because this is very dangerous these storms as they move on through and again you can see that that northern boeing segment is pushing its way through saint landry parish the severe threat has ended for you if you are in jeff davis acadia western St. Landry Parish, that means from Opelousas to Eunice, uh, Washington also, it has ended for you, and Evangeline Parish. There is an ongoing severe threat in the eastern parts of St. Landry Parish, out towards Crot Springs and Port Barry, down into St. Martin, uh, Martin Parish, Henderson, Bro Bridge, Butte La Rose, Parks, St. Martinville, Lafayette Parish, especially in the Youngsville, Broussard area right now, and then down into Vermilion Parish, seeing that significant line of storms Ooh. working its way up into Abbeville as we speak. Also, the severe threat still just getting started for you if you're in Iberia, Lower St. Martin, and St. Mary Parishes. So they have canceled the tornado watch for Jeff Davis Parish. Uh, yep, I was just about to read that off, but okay. go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, and uh, points westward. So... You know, Acadia, Avoyles, Evangeline, Iberia, Lafayette, Rapides, St. Landry, St. Martin, St. Mary, and Vermilion Parishes. We're still continuing this tornado watch until 9 o'clock this morning. But areas to the west, Jeff Davis, Allen Parish, Beauregard Parish, Calcasieu Parish, Cameron Parish, those areas, the tornado watch has been canceled there just because with this squall line rolling through the area behind it, it's a much stable air mass, and we don't have to worry about rotating thunderstorms creating tornadoes. Right. 
And so an update on power outages. St. Landry is really taking it hard, which is no surprise considering we had that storm earlier that looked like it produced a tornado around the Opelousas Church Point area. 12,651 customers are without power at the current time. That I'm, is from Sunco. Uh, okay, I'm seeing yeah. a significant uptick here. We have roughly 18,000. Yeah, well, that takes in, like, all the different periods. But specifically for Slemco, we have 12,651 people without power. But with all the other electrical places, you're seeing what what's the number there? R roughly 40% of the parish is without power. Yeah. That is yeah. alarming. Very much. And we then Acadia Parish has 6,900 people without power, again, from Slemco. Um, That's roughly 30% of the parish in Acadia. Yeah. That's without power. Now, we've seen some improvement in St. Martin Parish, but uh, we're still waiting for the numbers to deteriorate in Lafayette Parish. Well, and Slemco Slemco's reporting now about 2,500 people without power here in Lafayette Parish. So we are starting to see that um, uptick in power outages. And you can just see where this line has gone. Look at all the red in southwestern Louisiana. That's where this line has gone and produced a lot of damage. And we're going to see that trend continue here as we head through the next few minutes and into the hour ahead. I think by 9 o'clock, this line should be pretty much east of the area. Now, I believe that this is the first time this morning since, uh, since I want to say about 5 o'clock, we actually do not have a single tornado warning in effect across the area. Uh, that said, we're going to stay on the air because this is an incredibly dangerous line of thunderstorms that's rolling through. Uh, right, and you know we they did drop the considerable tag um, for the severe thunderstorm warning, but with all the past indications, this is still going to be a significant threat here. So we are going to continue um, covering this uh, this severe weather event. I do want to update folks. It is 8:02. We've just passed the top of the hour. If you're tuning in for Good Day Acadiana, we are going. Um, over that right now with weather because of this intense squall line that is moving through the area producing widespread power outages, damage. We had some reports of tornadoes and hail and we also have a flood threat. You can see that beginning to develop in parts of uh, Evangeline, St. Landry and Acadia parishes. So a lot of rain has fallen. We're looking at two to four inches of rain uh, that has fallen in some parts of the area. Those are the current warnings. Here's the current look at radar where we have that big line of storms just working its way on through. If you're in St. Landry Parish, Acadia, Evangeline, Jeff Davis, the severe threat has ended for you. Yes, you're still going to hear some rumbles of thunder. Yes, there's still going to be some pockets of heavy rain, but you're not going to see those strong winds. You're not going to see the tornado potential as we head uh, further into your day. The rest of the area, we are still in that severe risk. Some of us currently experiencing it in St. Martin Parish, Lafayette Parish, and Vermilion Parish. If you're in Iberia, Lower St. Martin, and St. Mary, that is where we still have to wait for the greatest threat of severe weather to approach and come through your region. We do have a, uh, we might want to switch over to our new Iberia Tower camera. I, I have it. Did. Yeah, that looks like it's kind of a renegade cell. So that Yeah, might not... uh, we have this one cell here that I want to show you. It's out into New Iberia, or Iberia Parish here. It's out over kind of the marshier areas to the east of town, um, headed up towards Lauraville. But there is some indication, and I'm going to switch over to velocity here, that we are looking at some rotation. And yeah, you can clearly see right there near Life Night and then south of Lauraville, there is a well-defined area of rotation right here. Uh, this is just to the north of Olivier, north and east of Olivier, coming up towards Lauraville and Caroline. And so we're going to have to watch this because uh, we've seen it once before. There is going to be the potential for that tornadic development out of these storms. So um, we have our new Iberia Tower camera pulled up, and I think we are going to have to go a little bit more to the left, Dan. To the left. Because uh, that, um, yeah, see if we can see anything in there. Because that's almost due north right here. Yeah. But I think this thing is actually farther to the east. So and we're just going to do some scanning here of the sky, see if we see any indications well, the other thing great. is 
Uh, this storm is that's south or that's yeah. This southeast. storm is um, out more so over some marshier areas yeah, away from the town. Yeah, towards the Atchafalaya Basin. So we may not be able to spot this, but certainly a very strong couplet showing up on radar. What we mean by that is an area of rotation, and I'll draw that out for you here just so that you can see um, where this red indicates winds that are going away from radar like that. These grayer colors indicate winds that are going towards radar like that. And in between is where we would get any rotation. And so we're clearly seeing an uptick in winds right there. Now, also to remember, we are very far away from the radar. So the fact that radar is actually seeing this says that this is a very intense spin in the atmosphere. And uh, that clearly is not correct, um, just based upon what we are looking at. Let me see if I can get <laughs> still showing 34. Uh, there's definitely that pinkish color there usually indicates upwards of 70 miles an hour. So we'll see. We may get a tornado warning out of that. But again, this line pretty much could be classified as a tornado uh, because of everything that is going on with the line of storms that are moving on through. They're going to have these little spin-up tornadoes along the outer edge of the line. And it's going to be very hard to tell you if there's a tornado on the ground or not just because of how fast this line is moving and how fast these spin-ups do occur. Yeah, that spin-ups out to the west of, or to the east of Lorville, but at the same time we're also watching that squall line approach New Iberia from the west and northwest. Right. So Abbeville is, you know, they're in the thick of it right now. Erath and Delcom, you're getting into it right now as well. Youngsville and Broussard, yep. you know, you're also included. It's knocking on the doorstep of Intercoastal City.